Hi, I'm Josh from NICO Trailer Sales. Uh, today I'm going to be walking around the 2022 Dura Hall 7x14 dump trailer. So we're going to start from the back here and work our way around the front and just kind of go over all the different features and specs. Uh, starting with the tailgate, we've got the three way spreader gate, so dual purpose uh, barn doors and spreader gate. So, so what you'd expect to see on any dump trailer is the barn doors, easy open levers. Um, these are these lock open just with the D ring from the hooks on the side. As so you'll see here, those will hold that open so that when you're dumping, you're not your doors aren't flopping all over the place. Uh, and then nice and easy slam shut, too. You don't have to be too gentle with these, they're pretty heavy duty. Safety pins on everything to keep everything locked up while you're driving. You don't want to opening up on the highway. The spreader gate, we've got pins on each side. I'm going to unhook this one, I'm going around the other side. To open that up, it's just a matter of pushing this lever down, pulling the gate open. Now when you dump, gravity is just going to push that open as far as you let it with the chain. Uh, and then that's also a really easy slam shut too. Um, inside the box, we'll look at here. So this is a 7 by 14 um, but we've got an extra wide top box. So on the bed, it's seven feet by 14 feet. The top box is actually 91 inches wide, which gives you more space, uh, larger capacity, while still keeping the smaller wheel base. So your wheel well is the same size as, as a normal seven by 14, but you get that extra space on the top box, which is great. And then we also have the uh, amounts for a stabilizer jack. So if you're ever loading a heavy bobcat or something into this, um, you can put some stabilizer jacks on here so that your front end isn't lifting up. The frame is an eight inch I-beam. So about, about as solid as they come. Uh, one nice thing they've done with this too is uh, on this joint here, they've boxed in the joints. So you don't just have a weld on the top and the bottom where that would be a weak point. This is, they've actually got this whole uh, boxed in thing. So you've got tons of strength. So you don't have a weak point there at all. Uh, you've got LED lighting all the way down the side. Um, LED lighting for the, the signals and brake lights as well. We have a 110 charger here, so that if you ever can't, uh, you're in a situation where you can't charge off the truck, you can plug that into any 110 outlet. The, the jack is a 12,000 pound spring-loaded drop leg jack. Coupler, two and five sixteenths. The snap pack lock, and that's also adjustable height. You've got six holes there um, for different heights. Inside the toolbox, Got a fair bit of storage space in here, so you're keeping some straps in there. Um, and then you get your pump and your battery in here, obviously. Uh, yeah, as you'll see here, this will go to almost a 90 degree angle. This will actually tilt a little further than we have right now. Heavy duty ram here uh, with the scissor hoist, which gives it a, a, a great mechanical advantage as opposed to just a single ram or a dual ram. Um, the floor is seven gauge floor, so that's almost quarter inch thick steel for the floor uh, with 16 inch on center cross members. Those are three inch channel cross members. See on this one we have the 7,000 pound axles uh, with the multi-leaf brake suspension. Electric brakes on all four wheels. Inside the box we have a seven gauge uh, steel plate floor. So very heavy duty floor is perfect for if you know concrete work or anything heavy, if you're loading heavy equipment into this, you want a heavy duty floor. You don't want to banging that up too much. This can really take a beating. Uh, you'll also notice we've got full seam welds all the way down from the floor to the wall. There's no stitch welding whatsoever. It's all completely full seam welds. We've got really heavy duty steel ramps on this, which is awesome. Another thing that I really like about these is the ramp storage, uh, where we actually have these doors for the ramps held shut with these safety pins. A lot of these, you'll just see one pin holding in the ramps and you'll lose the ramps on the highway like that. Uh, this, you've got a door to hold down. All of these hinges too, just about anything that moves has these little grease nipples on it too, so you can keep everything lubricated. Just really nice. Those ramps just pull out. They hook right onto the frame on here. 
great if you're ever driving machinery, an excavator, a bobcat, a skid steer, or even a car. In this, uh, it's great for loading machinery because you can use the ramps in addition with the tilt so that you have an optimal angle for 